Hello, everyone. Welcome to another data science video. This is the second part of my previous video, where we have seen how to optimize input parameters for building a machine learning model. In this presentation, we will see how to draw PCA scatter, 2D, and 3D plots with the appropriate categorical legends. We generally draw scatter plots to detect anomalies and outliers in the dataset. Here we will also see how the scikit-learns pipeline module creates a chain of different functions to build a composite estimator, and implements them parallelly. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Here, we will be using the same breast cancer dataset, which we have found after optimizing for the input parameters, x, in the previous video. If you haven't watched the previous video, then I must request you to see that first, to understand the dataset. Now, let's begin the actual procedure. First, we will import all required libraries. Here, we are also using some libraries we have imported before, shown in the previous video. For passing the data into the PCA for dimensionality reduction, we should scale it first. Because there are different types of values in the dataset, some are way big, and some are very small. And these feature units are also different. So, we need to scale them down to some specific value range. That way the PCA model performs better on the dataset. Here we have scaled data using the scikit-learn standard scalar function, which scales the dataset within the standard deviation range under the bell curve. Read more about feature scaling, why we must do feature scaling, and different types of feature scaling techniques, on our blog. The link is in the video description. Now we will apply PCA to the scaled data. So, first, here we have to fit the scaled data into the PCA model, and then the model transforms the projected data into a lower dimension. As we can see here, our optimize X data frame had 19 features. Using principal component analysis, we have reduced these 19 features into two PCA components. Now, we can access these PCA components in this way. Here we are accessing all rows of two PCA components, column 0 and column 1. Now let's see how to draw the PCA scatter plot with appropriate categorical legends. For creating labels of the 2D scatter plot, here we have created a list of two categories, malignant and benign. And we have taken unique values of the target, Y, to run the loop for two unique categories. Also, we have defined the list of colors for identifying the unique data points. Now let's see the plot. This is the PCA scatter plot with appropriate categorical legends. Here the legends indicate the yellow data points in the scatter plot are benign, and the red data points are malignant. We know that benign tumors are not cancerous, but malignant tumors are cancerous. Now let's see how we can do the same thing using the pipeline. The pipeline takes a list of functions and squishes them into a single function. Or we can say that the pipeline function creates a sequence of steps together. For example, it creates a new function combining the feature selection function, normalization function, and classification function all together. As we can see here, the pipeline function takes a list of tuples as input. Each tuple includes the name of the function and the function itself. So each tuple contains an individual step. And the pipeline function takes the output of each step as an input for the next step. Now, in a similar fashion, here's also, we can access the PCA component. So, using these components, we will be able to draw the PCA scatter 2D plot. Now, let's draw the PCA scatter 3D plot. For drawing the scatter plots in 3D space, we have imported the Express API from the Plotly library. The Express module has the scatter 3D function. This function accepts a data frame and its features as input, and for mapping the categorical legends with the data point, it accepts the target column of the data frame as the value in the symbol parameter. So to draw the plot, first, we need to reduce the 19 features of input parameters, x, into three PCA components.
And then we have created the pandas data frame with these three components. For the target column of the data frame, we need to assign the target variable y. As we have converted the targeted categorical diagnosis column to numeric values before, therefore to put the unique category as a label in the plot, we need to convert numerical variables y to categorical values again. Then we assign the values as target column in the data frame. So now our data frame looks like this, and we are ready to create PCA scatter 3D plot using this PCA data frame. So here in the scatter 3D function, we have passed the PCA data frame. And in the x, y, and z axis, we have passes the columns, comp0, comp1, and comp2. Also, for the unique label of each PCA data point, we have assigned the targeted diagon column. Now, let's draw the plot. So this is our 3D scatter plot. As we can see here in the plot that the dataset has a lot of outliers which causes anomalies for the machine learning model. Therefore for building a solid machine learning model, we must need to get rid of all of these outliers. So, in the next video, we will show how to detect anomalies in the dataset, and how we can get rid of them.